Fellow hitting researchers, I have a question for us. Can you explain how does the ball get onto the bat? Again, how does a pitched ball find its way to a swinging bat? If we're all in the research center studying this together, and we came to a place in our research when we realized that one of our subjects had perfect mechanics, but they still missed the ball. They still fouled the ball off. So then logically, we have to rule out that mechanics is the reason why the ball finds its way to a swinging bat. Here's another question for our research panel. What are the best hitting drills our hitters can do in a batting cage in preparation for the live game? Is it hitting off the batting tee? Is it hitting a front soft toss? Is it the one-arm drills? Is it hitting off the pitching machine? Is it putting your face in a pair of goggles and watching 3D reality devices? Is it tossing a ring with colored markers on it and catching it with your hands to help your vision? Does that make you hit better in the game? Is it swinging one of these end-loaded bats or handled-loaded bats? Does that, does that make you hit better in the game? One player even told me, if I practice juggling, that helps me hit better in the game. This is my response. This is what I learned, and I'm going to tell my fellow lab technicians this answer. I told the player, if you think juggling is going to help you hit better in the game, let's test it. Let's use juggling to warm up before batting practice. I mean, real batting practice. The kind of batting practice where I stand about 50 feet away and I throw from a full pitching windup. The college hitter hasn't taken batting practice for three or four days, so this was the perfect time to test this. But he had been juggling. Oh yeah, he had been practicing his juggling. So as I warmed up, he warmed up. I threw batting practice into a screen and he practiced his juggling. After about three minutes, he stepped into the batter's box. And let me just tell you, his opening rounds of like 20 to 30 balls, pitches, were awful. After about 30 pitches, I walked down and I asked the batter, how much do you think juggling is helping your hitting? He said, coach, not very much. So let's go back to the laboratory and let me talk to my fellow researchers. If you wanna learn if any drill any device is going to help you hit better in the game, here's what you do. Take that drill, take that device for two or three days, four days, and only use that drill, only use that device. Step into a batting cage with a real live batting practice pitcher or step into the cage with a real pitcher. If you immediately see better results, then maybe, you know what, there's something to it. But I'm speaking to my fellow lab technicians, and my experience is this. Those devices, those drills, really don't help the hitters hit better in the game. And what validates my reply is the SAID principle, the S-A-I-D principle. Specific adaptations imposed demands. The batting tee, the one-arm drills from the short screen soft tosses, the the 3D reality goggles, the end-loaded bat, the, the handle-loaded bat, they don't duplicate the imposed demands our players are experiencing in live games. But I have some good news for you. As a research team, if we really understand the components, the elements, the variables that make up a successful game hitter, and we teach these concepts to our hitters, through these apparatuses, through these batting tees, through these goggle glasses, 3D contraptions, if they're using the components, the concepts that really make a successful game hitter, then these apparatuses can be effective and be useful. Look, I'm Dave Kirloff, languageofhitting.com. Modestly and humbly speaking, I have over 29 years of hitting research. Our hitting system is the most innovative, sophisticated, and progressive hitting system you'll ever find. Plus, it's the most natural way to teach hitting. We have several ways for you to get on board with our program. Number one, our online hitting system. 
We have hidden courses through our website you can study at home. We offer Zoom or FaceTime sessions. And I travel nationally across the country. I can work with your son, your daughter, or your team face-to-face directly. Together, let's help your son, your daughter to be as good as they can be while they're still young. One more note. How does the moving ball get onto the swinging bat? The short answer, it's your brain. Your brain controls the eyes. The eyes gets the message about the ball, relays it back to the brain through the central nervous system, through the limbs, and now the the arms and legs know where to swing the bat. Stop delaying your son or daughter's development. Let's give this plan some traction and let's put this into action.